Hey everyone, this is Phil from The Cubicle, and today we will be lubing a 3x3. So as you can see, the cube in the video is really bad, and so we'll be making it better. So to do this, you need a screwdriver, which is a regular Phillips screwdriver. Uh, we have two sorts of lubes. Um, this is Lubicle Speedy on top and Cubicle Weight 4 on bottom. We have a green dispensing tip, and this is an optional wet towel that I use just to clean my hands if I get lube on them, just in case. So what we'll be doing right here is taking out the center caps and uh, disassembling the cube. Essentially what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be unscrewing one side and then I'll be popping a piece out and then from there taking apart the cube is actually pretty straightforward. So I'm going to do that and uh, essentially what this video will consist of is uh, me walking you through how I personally lube 3x3s. Three so what I'll do is I'll cut to uh, the end of the uh, disassembly. So now we have uh, a bare core, and what I'll be doing is I'll be unscrewing five of the center pieces. And so what I'll be doing here is skipping to the part where I actually disassemble everything and explain why I dis disassemble only five of them. So if I had gotten rid of all six of them, I would have screwed in one of the center pieces with the core as a support against the table. And that's really unstable because, uh, as you can see, the core has a very small surface area. So I'd rather use the uh, centerpiece as a base to do that. And so um, that is the reason why I do that. So over here, what you do is you take out the screw, uh, put some lube in, um, put the hardware back out. And uh, over here, I just realized that uh, I need washers. So I have a handy bag of washers. And uh, this won't happen with... Uh, you know every cube but occasionally the cube will be missing some washers and so I'll uh, put the washer back in and this is a time to actually this is a good time to say uh, when you lube your cube this is a great time to check your cube to see if there are any imperfections or missing hardware or missing anything really or anything that's not satisfactory because you are opening up the cube and so it's a great time to check if everything is working properly so now what you do is you press the screw down exposing the screw in between the core and the centerpiece, put some lube in between, and just work it in. And then I tighten it all the way, or not so much all the way, but enough so that the, the center doesn't wobble. And so now I'm going to work on the, uh, the other center, the one center that I uh, did not disassemble. And you can see it's much easier to do this because I'm using the other center as support, the opposite center. And it would have been much more difficult had I just done this with uh, just the bare core because, uh, as I said already, the core is very small in surface area and it's uh, very unreliable to lean against it or to push up on it on the table. So uh, we're going to essentially repeat this process where I take out the center, uh, extract the screw like that, check if there's a washer, there is indeed and then apply some lube over here and this is to mostly make you know the hardware smoother and to get rid of the spring noise so I put that in um, and then screw it in kind of halfway just a little bit to uh, make the screw secure expose the screw put some lube in between work it in so that's pretty much the same process I will uh, undertake with the rest of the centers so we'll skip that and uh, we'll move on to cube assembly. So here I have uh, applied lube to the last center. And uh, we're just spinning it around just to see how effective the lube is. And you can see already the core is spinning around much faster than you'd expect um, from out of the box. And so now we're going to put the cube together. All right. And uh, we're going to give it a few turns. Um, this is just preliminary. I just like to feel this. Um, it kind of feels weird uh, without the caps because my thumb is, uh, you know, the way I hold the cube, I put my thumb on top of the centerpiece. And so without the centerpiece on, it's kind of, uh, kind of feels foreign to me. So here is where I just spin the cube. It's really, really loose. And uh, that explains partially why it's so fast right now. Um, but uh, I will tighten it later in this video. So now's a good time to uh, talk about uh, the types of lube. And uh, oops, I lost a uh, center cap, but it's okay. Um, so we have uh, a variety of lubes. And uh, for our basic silicone lube, we have five sorts. We have weights one, two, three, four, five. And uh, 
for our premium lubricants, we have uh, Lubicle, Speedy, Standard, and Gummy. And uh, what you do, uh, what you see in this video is uh, Lubicle Speedy being used in the demo. So uh, the weights are essentially how viscous the lube is. Um, weight one is uh, the most watery, and weight five is the least watery. So it, it'll be more like a gel-like substance. And um, when you lube the core, you want to use a gel-like substance, so like weight four, weight five, so that the lube stays there and doesn't disperse. And for the pieces, it all depends on uh, what you prefer. So over here, we're using Speedy because um, the cube is uh, has a lot of surface-to-surface -surface contact, and so Speedy really makes it soft and fast, and uh, it's a really nice feeling, at least to me, and so that's why I uh, really like Speedy. Um, but if you do prefer a more controlled feeling, you can use uh, heavier lube on the pieces as well. And so what we'll do now is uh, after applying the lube called Speedy, um, you just play with the cube a lot to uh, disperse the lube so that it uh, coats the pieces. And I'm just going to do you know, a little bit of tightening to uh, make sure that the cube has even tensions and uh, tensions workable enough so that uh, they don't pop. So what I'll be doing now is I'll be letting the sound in in a bit so you can just hear how much uh, better the cube has um, gotten. Um, I didn't have sound previously, but uh, you can just hear now how crisp the cube is and uh, how fast it rotates. So uh, here's the sound, and uh, let's enjoy the cube. And uh, this is pretty much it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let us know. Uh, otherwise, see you in the next video. Uh, the rest of the uh, video will just be me playing with the cube and enjoying a new loop 3x3. So thanks for watching.